Hello everyone. In this video, I am testing the CamLink 4K capture card. So now the recording that you're seeing is in 4K 29.97 frames per second. And I'm using the CamLink 4K connected to a Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. And it is also configured in 4K and I'm recording in OBS. So it's 4K all the way. So in this video, I'll be emphasizing more on the 4K capabilities of this capture card. So I'll be talking about the lag in 4K. I will also be comparing it to a raw footage from my Canon camera to the footage that I'll be recording with the CamLink 4K through OBS. I'll also show you a little bit of a comparison between a capture in 4K and a capture in 1080p so that you'll see the difference. So first, let me talk about the lag a little bit of this capture card. The capture card is, of course, connected to my PC on a 3.0 USB port and using the cable that came with the capture card. So everything is well connected. And I've tested the lag and I found out that if I put it at 150 milliseconds, so I put an offset of my voice of my microphone in OBS at 150 milliseconds. And this way, my lips are synced with the video output. This is normal in my opinion because like processing 4K is not like processing 1080p and on top of that we are using USB connection also. Now to show you the difference I'm gonna record a small section without the offset and you're gonna see the difference. Now I've put the offset at 0 milliseconds in OBS and you're gonna notice that my lips are a little bit out of sync with the video footage and this is, as I said before, this is normal because especially I'm recording using 4K. I tested it with 1080p 60 frames per second and the lag was 80 milliseconds only as opposed to 150 milliseconds in 4K. So now I'm gonna go back to put the offset so now I've put the offset back to 150 milliseconds and as you notice my lips now I perfectly synced with the video output. By the way, if you like this video so far, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. This will really help the channel. And also if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments section and I'll be glad to answer all your questions. So now let me tell you a little bit about the configuration of my PC. So I have an Intel i9 CPU and the usage when I put the cam link at 4K is around 90% of the CPU. And I also have a powerful GPU which is the NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti and it is almost used at 35% when I shoot in 4K. Now it's true that I'm using software decoding in OBS to reduce the file size. So I'm using the software decoding x264 so if i use hardware decoding instead of software decoding the cpu usage will drop to around 25 30 percent but the file size will increase tremendously because i have a powerful cpu i chose to put it on software decoding to save some disk space so now i'm gonna switch to the camera footage directly without going through the capture card so that you'll see the difference I'm going to make sure that the camera is recording in 4K. So here it is in 4K, 30 frames per second. And now I'm going to stop the recording on my PC and switch to the camera. And this is what I got when I tried to test the camera directly. So I'm going to turn off the camera to make it like a little bit cool down. And then I'm going to come back with the camera recording. So now I'm recording directly with the camera without going through OBS. Of course, the sound I'm capturing it with my microphone to my computer, but the footage of the video is directly from the camera. So I'm gonna show you now a small here test pattern. So this is here like my target practice. And this is for you just to see the colors if they differ. So it has some colors, this test pattern. So now I'm going to switch to the OBS recording through the CamLink 4K. So now I switch back to recording with the CamLink 4K. And let me do the same test. So this here is my dartboard. And notice the colors. So what I noticed when I compared the two footages is that the camera raw footage has more saturated colors. But this is not to say that the footage from the cam link 4K was not good. So both footages were good in my opinion with a small advantage for the footage that is raw from the camera.
So now the next test I'll be doing is 4K versus 1080p 60. So I'm going to configure my HDMI output on my Canon to 1080p 60 frames per second. And I'm going to configure all also the recording chain to this setting. So now everything is configured at 1080p 60 frames per second. And it's up to you to judge which is better. By the way, this is upscaled in YouTube to 4K. The base 4K is in real 4K and this 1080p footage is upscaled of course because I cannot divide the video like a section in 4K and 1080p in YouTube. And let me also do the dartboard test. So I don't think there will be too much difference in this. But it's good to know that the Camlink 4K works really good in 4K settings. Now I switch back to the 4K recording in OBS using the Camlink 4K. And at the end, I'm going to give you my opinion about this capture card from Elgato. I really like this capture card. It's small. It does what it is advertised to do. So it records very good in 4K as you saw. It is limited to 30 frames per second, but this is not a big deal. And for it being to be able to record in 4K, frankly, I find it affordable. Now, I don't like the lag very much, but this can be adjusted in OBS if you're recording in OBS. So you put the offset to 150 milliseconds, as I showed you. But if you have other cameras recording without this Camlink capture card, you may have maybe some small offset because the other cameras may not have this kind of lag so this is something to be considered also when you record in 4k you need to have a good pc to support the load of recording in 4k but this is not the fault of the camlink 4k so recording in 4k demands resources and as you saw before my camera heated up but when the camera heats up it keeps recording through the camlink 4k it just stops recording if you want to record directly on the camera and this is something I don't mind really. But this may maybe burn the camera on the long run. Now, if you care to check out this Elgato Camlink 4K capture card, you can check my link in the description. I have an Amazon affiliate links. I'll gain a small percentage if you make a purchase using my link at no cost to you. And this will help my channel greatly. So that was it for this review of the Camlink 4K, which was emphasizing the 4K capabilities of this video capture card and then i want to thank you all for watching and i hope that my video will help you in your choice of buying a 4k capture card if you like this video please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i'm eloy until next time